So basically, lately, I've been in the business of blocking my brows because I'm feeling the alien-like look. It's cute, it's different, whatever. I do it the long way around where I use glue and I flatten out my brows. You know, I either just blur them out or I can like draw on like a really skinny brow. The only thing is that I don't mind doing it, but I know that I can do it a different way. I'm gonna do like a nude brow. I'm not doing a blonde brow, I'm just gonna do like a nude. Anyway, I'm gonna need my concealer and I'm gonna just brush through my eyebrow hairs. <laughs> This is cute already. It's a vibe. Okay, let me do the other side. I'm gonna take my spoolie. Just gonna brush it a little. Eyebrows are gone. I'm gonna clean them up, but I'm gonna do the rest of my face first. For me, I have hyperpigmentation. Um, here, I got it on my top lip. Some foundations are, they can cancel out your hyperpigmentation, but there's some that just doesn't budge. Um, and in fact, it can make you look grey. So I like to combine the two and then apply it, but just in the areas that is hyperpigmented. So I take a pump of my foundation, then I take my um, colour corrector, and then I mix the two. So what I do is... I literally apply it like this and you can, I literally can see the dark marks vanish when I do it like this. Obviously I need to blend it out but can you see like the difference? So now it's like a bit more even. Okay and then I'm going to take my brush, I'm just putting the rest of my foundation on and then I'm going to just blend this out. Right, that's my foundation on. Yeah, let's highlight. I start off with a skin tone concealer, then I will build it up. I have to, have to highlight my forehead. I can't avoid my forehead, like I can't not highlight my forehead. Then I'm going to use this brush, so we're going to blend this out. So this is phase two and we're just going to blend out my concealer. I'm going to just blend out this bright concealer i'm not really a blush type of person my favorite bronzer which is the nars laguna in the shade eight and we're gonna start to warm up our face now we're gonna set the highlight i'm gonna use laura mercier translucent I don't know if you can see but the reason why I like to set or just mattify my face as much is because I have texture so I have like these chicken pox scars on my forehead it might not look that bad but I'm not joking it's annoying because it adds texture to my face so I'm going to go with my eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to use a dark brown to kind of like add shadow to my nose as opposed to like a red or like a brown. What do I like to do? Um, yeah. I'm just going in against the side, but not hard. I don't, oh, see, it's really looking harsh. Right, basically, I just outlined my brows with my I use this as like a contour so I just use this to outline my brows um it's a bit tricky for me because I don't have a shape at the moment uh, but I really try to define my brows with this for my eyeshadow a smoky eye because I have like such a plain face at the moment I think I'll do I'm gonna do a brown smoky eye so I'm gonna take this shade here I'm improvising a lot today but I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to slap that on my eyelid. Let's just blend this out. I'm going to set this with um, a deep brown. So I've got this nice like shimmer shade. It's like a dark brown but it shimmers. It's so funny how like, you know, there were some colours back in the day that was just like, no, that's too auntie-ish. This would have been one of them. But here I am wearing it. I used to find like shimmer just a bit too like, I don't know, mature. But here we are. 
I do also have, well, I've got this little palette, but I'm going to try. It's supposed to be like a foil, eyeshadow foil, chrome type of lid. I mean, eyeshadow. Look at this blue. See? Oh, no, I like that. I thought I'd hate it. No, I like it. But I don't know if I should have put blue on the, like, underneath. That would have looked nicer, right? I'm going to put this back to brown, right? But I'm going to keep the blue underneath. <sighs> right, let me make this brown again so a little bit okay guys isn't this giving like 2016 maybe even 2013 i just want to darken my under eye for my lips i'm gonna keep it boring Okay, I'll start off with a black. So I've got definition. Then I'll go in with a dark brown. And this is a really, really nice dark brown, especially if you have two-tone lips. I'm going to go in with my leftover lava cake. I don't, guys, you don't understand. I'm going to do a makeup shop soon, but... She's here. Yeah, I have to do a nude. And this is for, this is also NYX as well. And then I'm gonna go in with hot chocolate. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun creating this look. Um, it was really just for me to experiment and just have fun. Um, is this something I would normally do? Yeah, because I like shadows and I like playing around and just experimenting but I definitely want to try some new things um otherwise yeah this is it for me and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye